Dynamics 365 security is based on architecture where the user has to be a part of the Azure Active Directory. If the user is not added in the Active Directory, that user cannot be added as part of the B365 security. So that's one of the first things that has to be done by adding the user in the Azure Directory. Once the user is in the Azure Directory, then roles are added to the user. The roles are made up of duties, mostly. Sometimes one or two privileges are added to the role, but that's not straight out of the box. That's usually a custom scenario. And based on the duties, which is made up of multiple privileges and permissions, the user is now going to have access to the user interface element, which is the front end. It's called the UI the tables and the fields, the SSRS reports, and service operations. The data security is controlled by the data security policies and the table permissions from the network. Then it connects to the database where the data is actually being pulled from and pulled into the UI for access to the users.